what is front end back end in software engineering front end and back end distinguish between separation of concern between presentation layer it means front end and which is interface the user and the data access layer it is called back end the front end also well known as client side and back end well known as server side if we see that front end means a designing part of any website that we are generally view in our browser it effect designing menus pop up menus layout in short it is whole website templates and if we think about dynamic website the data that we interact with the database that store behind the website that is called back end so guys i think you are clear about front end and back end let us clear some more concept of front end and back end as you can see in this picture thousands of users or web users use the website they go to the browser and open the website friends when website load into the browser that particular part or component or tools that you are visualize in your browser it is completely front end as figures shown web user interact the data this data is transferred from front end to back end back end is a particular part where dynamic programming language is also interact and data access layer it means database is also access so let's take front end public client side always concentrate on designing part of software or website that end user direct connect with it where back end server side always concentrate on data storing administration of data and interact by each user now let understand comparison of front end and back end as you can see into the figure user interact first with front end then front end framework pass the data to the back end server and server transfer this data to the particular database if we develop desktop application by vb.net or we develop website by asp.net php python java or any another language or tool we need to understand the concept of front end and back end so let we take a difference between front end and back end or client side or server side if we look basically connected with end user and many users involved in front end where basically connect with administrator of software and one or two admin user use this front end main goal is designing or prepare the client environment back end main goal is data storing all the softwares or website designing templates or other parts include in it means front end in back end how to store the data secure level fetch the data faster and so many another point include as a back end for front end part in website developer need to learn three main basic language like html hypertext markup language css means cascade shell sheet javascript and other than this there are so many recent front end development tools and packages are available and technologies available like bootstrap technology 
Angular JS, jQuery, AJAX, and many more. For same, backend part main requirement is server side language knowledge is there. If we take a server side uh, language knowledge, .NET is there, PHP is there, Java, Python, Ruby. These are the only language or interface. But where the data store? And the answer is database and database tool like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, and many more. For last, again, front end and back end, if we are taking example, millions and billions of users use Google as a search engine every day. So the web page or home page of Google is front end part. But manage google.com is a search engine so all the database and all the reference link that we will get as per our search and requirement that will be managed by few users or few administration by this comparison i think you will be more clear about front end and back end technology for any website development client side and server side technology this particular screen explain you everything about it if we open any website first we will go to the browser that is symbolic representation of internet explorer so many users are using mozilla firefox google chrome and, and many more for this client side application or we can say that when development of front end part of any website we require some basic element of the technology first is a basic markup language that everybody knows about structure language or we can say that one hypertext markup language. Then after if we want to put it down some designing aspects to create menu, backgrounds, pop-ups and so many things or we can say that one web page presentation is depend on CSS. It means cascade style sheet. It means everything about web designing concepts where you can put it down sliders advertisement concepts menus tree views pop-ups so many themes attractive web page designing and so much so many more the last part of front end side is javascript as you say and as you clearly understand that one client side language for processing means if you want to provide some primary basic type of validation in a web page for example if you want to bind the user for some specific date of birth type of users allowed to fill up and submit the data sometimes you want to provide validation for email websites sometimes mobile numbers sometimes role numbers sometimes the candidate name and so many more this type of validations processing can be provided by lightweight scripting language called javascript so these are the three basic element as we already earlier discussed these are the three basic technology that you understand for an uh, front end designer or we can say that one client side developer of a website let we take a look of another side that is called server side in asp.net technology the most basic things and top of this screen is iis hosted web server internet information service or server it is a main technology where dynamic web page can interact then after we come to the second part that is a technology itself we can say that one active server pages .net. yes it means ASP.NET. This is a server side web technology language where users need to understand how data interact and so many more. Then after server controls. In front end part, whatever the data inserted by the user either from text box, sometimes radio button, checkbox, drop down and many more tools or we can say that one controls. 
this control data must be bind with the server so data can easily transfer from front end to back end or we can say that one client side to server side so we must understand this concept of how to bind the controls as a server elements easier processing will be converted to your html html elements sending to the browser this data must be transferred to the database tool either it is sql mysql or oracle last but not least if we choose a technology as asp.net which basic language you support as we know .NET technology support more than 36 language for ASP.NET my web developer use C Sharp or C has as a server side language or some developer use as Visual Basic as a server side language development so whenever you will uh, learn ASP.NET website designing concept at the time of client server application you need to choose ASP.NET with C Sharp or ASP.NET with Visual Basic or ASP.NET with J Sharp. By this particular screen, we will try to explain client side and server side process for a website data interaction. For data storing, we cannot directly start it with a database connectivity or we cannot say that when we should pick up directly MS Access, SQL, MySQL or Oracle. The most basic technology of this world of front end, back end, or client side or server side is file handling process. If you concentrate on C language, in C language also file handling or file manipulation was there where you can enter some data into your basic C programming language and you can save your data into file that is called file handling. By this screen, let me understand what is file handling and what are the main concept of file handling in .NET? As per definition, the most basic and primary method of data storing in secondary memory using traditional file format is called file handling. It easy to understand that one. This is the most basic technology how to store the data into the file format and in the concept of secondary memory we can say that one in our hard disk and drive or any secondary memory that we can uh, attach with desktop, laptop or anywhere. This is file handling. Friends, in vb.net file handling managed by a main class that is called base class library and the base class library name is stream. So friends, you will never forget about stream is a main class. So this is vb.net file handling managed by stream class as per base class library. In .NET framework, you understand that one, what is BCL and what is CL. Next is this base class library is having two subclasses. One is stream writer. The purpose of stream writer class is to write the data to the file, means front end data send to back end. And second is stream reader. As per name, it reads the data from file. It means backend side, whatever the data store into the file, it will come to the front. It is easy to understand whenever we will search for some e-commerce app like Flipkart, Amazon or anywhere, eBay. If we want to purchase something, first we search. And for searching, regarding data is available to us this is stream reader process or we can say that when this process called back to front if we want to tick book the ticket of Indian Railway IRCTC.com or if we want to book the ticket of any air buses or flights we need to check how many trains or how many flights are available from source station to destination station for the same we need to fire the query According to the query, the data come from backside to front side. So, file handling is not a process of only writing the data from front to back, but it is the same equal weightage process that we can retry the data, we can read the data from backside to front side. 
Are you getting properly? This is the concept of file handling. Before we start the programming concept of file handling in VB.NET, it is necessary to understand pros and cons or advantages and disadvantages of file handling in VB.NET. So friends, let me take first advantages. Data storing is most easy and faster. Next is data store in file. So we can save at particular location in our hard disk. We can change the extension of file and data can be secure. Next, ASCII, American Standard Code for Information and insert, uh, Interchange Base. Uh, data store possible, so data is much secure. It is a somewhat the concept of encryption of the data. Whatever the data you want to save, if, if it is alphabetical wise, everybody can know. But if you want to save the data as a ASCII code of any character of English, it will be more secure because if the file will be available or hacked by anyone, nobody can understand whatever the data is there. So it is a part of data security or data encryption is there. Easy to write the data. So guys, these are the quick look of an advantage of file handling advantages in VB.NET. Now, let's take in another side of it. That is disadvantage or cons. Data store not in proper format. It means if we decide to store the data in a database, it has fields, records and all and data are in managed form. But in a file handling, there is no field, there is no record, so data store storing is not in proper format. Next is data reading is difficult because data store in sequence. Whatever the data we want to store, it is having only file name. In that file, there is no field, no record. So it is difficult to read the data where the first record is over, where the second record started. In short, all the data are stored in a sequential process. So data writing is easy, but when we want to read the data, it is somewhat difficult for every programmer. No primary key concept. So unique data retrieval is difficult. And if no primary key, no foreign key, so normalization is not possible. So there is a very huge disadvantages of file handling because there is no database at all. And whatever the data you are storing, it is into the sequential location. It is maybe in Notepad, it may be in Excel, it may be on Word, or it may be in any file. But the data is stored as a raw format, not as a classified format that does not have any fields and records. So these are the disadvantage of file handling.